All right, everyone. Welcome back again to All Wings Everything, and I am your cook, Spinelli. Now, in today's video, I have a special recipe, and what I'm going to do now is what I call Nashville Hot Chicken. Now, I know you guys, some of you guys maybe, don't know anything or is not familiar with Nashville Hot Chicken. This particular chicken is way different from any other chicken that you've tasted. Now, as you guys know, I am from Alabama, and my first experience with this chicken, or this type of chicken, was when I was living in Huntsville, Alabama. And as you know, if you're familiar with Huntsville, it's about an hour and a half, of, actually an hour south of Nashville. So I used to always frequent Nashville here and there. Um, and I ran across, somebody, as a matter of fact, somebody introduced me to this um, chicken joint. It was called Prince's Chicken. And when I tasted the chicken, I just immediately fell in love with this type of chicken. And I haven't had this chicken in any other state or city that I've traveled in. And I travel often, not even in other countries I haven't seen. Them. So this is a special, special recipe that I want to share with you guys so you guys can learn how to make Nashville hot chicken. So you already know what I need for you to do. Get in the kitchen right now. Get that apron, grab your things, and let's start the cooking. You ready, set, go. All right, so here are the ingredients that we're going to start um, this recipe with. As you can see, we're going to use eggs. We're going to use some basil leaves. Uh, we're going to use um, oregano, some Frank's hot sauce, paprika, kosher salt, ground black pepper, onion powder, some buttermilk, red pepper or cayenne pepper, whatever one you call it, chili powder, brown sugar, garlic powder, some all-purpose flour, butter, some lard, and we have here our Publix Green Wise Chicken. So these are the ingredients that we're going to use for the, today's recipe. There's a lot, so let's take notes and move on. All right, so I've measured out all the ingredients, but we're going to take it one step at a time this time. So the first thing we're going to start with is our buttermilk mixture. We have two eggs and we have a cup of buttermilk. We have three tablespoons of Frank's hot sauce. We have two tablespoons of uh, brown sugar and we have one tablespoon of kosher salt. So these are the ingredients that we're going to use for the buttermilk mixture. All right, so let's move on. All right, so I've already measured out the ingredients for our um, spice seasoning. So the first thing we're going to do, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, and I've combined my oregano and uh, basil together. I have two teaspoons of both. I have two teaspoons of paprika. I have two teaspoons of kosher salt, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of chili powder. So combine the ingredients with a quick mix and this is what it should look like. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you want to reserve two tablespoons of this mixture from this prepared seasoning you just made and we're gonna use this uh, for the buttermilk mixture. So let's move on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our buttermilk mixture. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pour your buttermilk into a bowl. Add your two eggs and give it a quick uh, stir. Next thing you want to do is you want to take uh, your um, Frank's hot sauce, pour it inside the mixture. Take your brown sugar, add it. And take your two tablespoons of prepared seasoning that you reserve, put it in the mixture, 
Give it a quick stir to incorporate all the seasoning. And once you do that, you just want to add your uh, chicken pieces in the mixture. So go ahead, add your chicken pieces to the mixture. Make sure that you, all the chicken is submerged into the mixture. Once you do that, you want to take your lid, cover it up, and refrigerate it for a minimum of two hours up to 24 hours whatever you desire. Once you do that, we'll move on to the next step. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our dredge uh, for the chicken. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that uh, two cups of flour and the remaining of the prepared seasoning. And we're going to put it in the bowl with the um, flour. Then we're going to give it a quick mix to incorporate the seasoning into the flour. And this is what we're going to use to coat the chicken once it's done marinating. So go ahead and um, give it a quick stir and I'll see you in the next step. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the uh, sauce for the chicken. So what I have here, I have three tablespoons of Frank's hot sauce. I have one tablespoon of paprika. I have two tablespoons of melted butter. I have two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I have three fourths cups of lard. All right, so this is what we're going to use to prepare our sauce for the chicken. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare the sauce for the chicken. And what you want to do is you want to take your three-fourths cups of lard and add it to a pan. Take your melted butter and add your melted butter. Take your hot sauce. Add it. Add your paprika. Add your cayenne pepper. And lastly, what you're going to do is add your brown sugar. Now, bring this mixture to a boil while mixing. And once you bring it to a boil, you want to reduce your heat to low and let it simmer for about one minute. And once you've done this, we're going to move on to the next step. Take a look at it real quick. All right, let's move on. All right, so now that the chicken has marinated in the uh, refrigerator, the first thing you want to do is you want to re uh, take a piece of your chicken, make sure you shake off the excess um, mixture and place um about six to eight pieces into your um, your flour mixture. Coat the chicken and sit it on a cutting board until you have uh, coated all the pieces of the chicken. And then after that, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put about uh, six to eight pieces inside our basket, but it all depends on how big your fry is. I put about eight pieces in mine. We're going to drop that chicken into the hot grease. And um, just remember the grease have already preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to let these wings cook five to seven minutes. All right. So once um, the five to seven minutes are done and we'll move on to the next step. All right. It has been about five to seven minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the chicken from the fryer. Look at that crisp golden look. Put it on a, um, a pan. That way we can uh, fry our second batch since we weren't able to fry all uh, pieces um, into this one um, basket. So go ahead and remove your chicken and then we're going to um, add our second batch and we'll go on from there. All right, so go ahead and add your second batch. 
uh, to your basket and drop them in the fryer. And we're going to also let these cook for five to seven minutes. And once these are done, uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step and uh, getting these uh, wings coated in this sauce. So let's um, meet up right after these five to seven minutes. I'll see you then. All right, so now our second batch of chicken is done. So we're going to remove those pieces from the basket and add them to um, the same pan. And we're going to move on to our next step. All right, so let's take a look at this chicken real quick. See how crisp it is? I like the color on it. Now, if you think that it's a little dark, and the reason why it's a little dark like that um, is because of the um, paprika. Um, generally, if you put a lot of paprika in your batter, then it tends to come out a little bit dark like that. So um, not that it's, it's not burnt. It's just a little um, dark due to the amount of paprika I put in the, um, the flour. So, But I can guarantee you these things are going to come out excellent. So stay with me and let's move on. All right, so we're going to uh, work a couple, one batch at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that sauce that we created, give it a quick stir because some of the uh, seasons settle to the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to spoon this sauce over your wings. So I kind of, what you don't want to uh, pour it over there and then shake it up because if you do that, due to the wings being crispy, what you're going to do is you're going to just um, um, crack the um, the skin and you'll just have you know pieces of your skin laying in your, your bowl. So you don't want to do that. So you just want to spoon it uh, nicely over your wings and then give it a quick turn and once you do that you want to remove your wings and put them onto a plate and then you want to do your second batch the same way all right so we're going to work on our second batch and again we're going to do the, se the second batch the same way give the um the sauce a quick stir and then spoon the sauce over the wings. Can't you see the difference in color? If you see how the reddish color is on the wings that we've already coated. And now um, versus the one we're about to coat. Now you can also, there's going to be some seasoning at the bottom of the, um, the mixture. You can also uh, spread that seasoning over your mixture. I mean, I'm sorry, spread that season over your chicken. Um, I generally do that at the end, but I don't have my brush here, so I, I, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do it. But you could take that seasoning and then just brush it over your uh, chicken, and uh, that gives it uh, an extra flavor. So go ahead and finish uh, seasoning up your uh, last batch, and then we're going to move on. Take a look at these wings. Look at that. Beautiful. Also, what I do to add a little bit more uh, flavor to it, I sprinkle some um, additional paprika over the wings and I also um, sprinkle some additional cayenne pepper to give it a little bit more of a spicy flavor. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this to bring out the hotness in the chicken. And voila, there you have it. Nashville hot chicken. Doesn't this look good, people? Look at that chicken. This is not your ordinary fried chicken. You have to try this chicken this way. It is great. Uh, the flavor, everything about this recipe and about this chicken is on a scale of one to five is a five. This is great chicken. You guys have to try this recipe. All right, so it's time for me to do some quality control. So let me take me a piece of this chicken and I'm going to let you guys know exactly what I think about this chicken. Well, folks, you already know what I think about it. I told you what I thought about it before I even bit into it. All right, guys. So go ahead and make this recipe and let me know how it turns out. I'm going to sit at this table 
and I'm going to pop me a brewski and I'm going to eat this hot chicken. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, what more can I say? What more can I say about this recipe? I love this chicken. I know some of you saying, oh my God, it's hot. Of course it's hot. That's the beauty of it. This is a great recipe and the chicken tastes amazing. I'm not going to even try to sell you guys on it. Only thing I want you to do is go and try this recipe. Leave a comment below and let me know how it turned out. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then I'm telling you, go right now. Go right now if you want to be alerted for the next time I release these amazing chicken wing videos. Subscribe. And if you know anybody who loves hot chicken or anybody who just loves cooking chicken wing or the person that thinks they know how to cook chicken wings and really don't know how to cook chicken wings, you may want to tell them subscribe and maybe share this video with them so they can learn. And until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, and this is All Wings Everything, and I'm out. Peace. Everybody stand up. Introducing the one and only, the most anticipated and highly underrated.